I created this background with this grid and gradient literally in one minute with one really awesome background library. And I also made it to work both in light and dark mode. There are a bunch of different backgrounds so you can do some yellow glow like this, this diagonal grid with these orange lines which is really cool, or this classy gradient which always looks nice on your landing page. This background library is called Pattern Craft and they have bunch of backgrounds that you can just copy and paste inside of your projects. And it is really easy if we return back, for example, on my project, we have here one plain background, nothing behind, no gradients, no grid or anything. So if we want to implement it, we can just go here and copy the background that we like. For example, this gradient right here, I copy it, we go inside of our project. So that's my hero section up there. And we are going to paste it in here like this. So here we can see that we have just two divs we are using here, Tailwind and CSS only. And we have a comment, your content goes here. So I'm going to copy paste everything that was inside of my component and I'm going to paste it in here. So now if we return to the project, we can see that we applied already that grid and gradient behind on our background. But it is not working still in dark mode. So we have to fix this. And we we're going to use one really simple tailwind trick. So here we have this div that we pasted in. We have linear gradient where we are basically defining our colors. We can see here RGBA and all the colors. So first thing we're going to do is here we're going to hide this div in dark mode. So this is only light mode gradient and we're going to copy and paste whole thing and we're going to put dark block. So we are displaying this div in dark mode and this one is not displayed in dark mode, only in light mode. And we're going to remove this background white. So now all these colors need to be darker and we're going to try first with the autocomplete just to see if that one is going to work. So we are returning back and it works automatically. That's the AI part. So autocomplete basically figure out what he needs to do. So he made darker colors for us. And now dark mode looks really nice and light mode should be also good. Oh, it's not, I forgot to put here hidden. Yeah, here. So we need to hide this div in case we are in light mode. And now it also works nice. So both light and dark mode looks much better than the first version that we had with just plain background. And we implemented this one literally in one minute. This project is open source. So go give it a star. You have the link in the description below and try it out. It was really interesting for me to try out a bunch of different backgrounds on my projects and I really hope that you're going to like it too.